Green Flags, tips by and for regional young people. Episode 2, all about youth advisory councils. A map of Victoria. In this episode, we're talking to Regional Sport Victoria, a statewide organisation supporting the sports and active recreation of young people. During lockdown, they started a Youth Advisory Council, or a YAC, to consult for their work. Let's hear from YAC member Louise Jansen and Leanne Gatha on Boon Land, and Youth Engagement Coordinator Kelly Tate in Ballarat on Jaja Wurrung Land. Two young people working on a shared document. Currently, our Youth Advisory Council are providing feedback and assistance with the development of a youth strategy for RSV, as well as a youth engagement toolkit for our regional sports assemblies. They've also provided feedback and support into the development of the youth charter for our regional sports assemblies to sign on to. It's been really successful so far. We're getting some amazing feedback from the young people about the way they see clubs and what we could do better with our clubs to be able to support young people's participation. I think that a lot of the projects in the YAC were really useful, especially some where it was really looking at how could your club improve and how could we improve like as regional sports Victoria. And it broadens into these much bigger discussions. So you get a lot more voice than if we were just talking about like one specific thing, which we do sometimes. Two young people putting notes on a board. We've had some really great fun activities to keep the young people engaged. So we've done some sport and active recreation life maps where the young people have used pictures to describe their sport journeys. They've been really useful probably to get to know each other and to like really get Regional Sports Victoria having a view on like who they're talking to and what issues they've come by. Two young people holding answer cards. We were using a website called Menti where we could all put our answers in and it wouldn't be like we have to have a discussion about it, but our answers would be read and known by Regional Sports Victoria. Like, so there was quieter kids that didn't really want to say anything in the group because they weren't confident enough to do that, but they could still have a voice because all they had to do was type an answer into a, a survey thing. It's a really good thing to have in the act because everybody gets a voice no matter what. Two young people on a video call. I think during COVID, it's been really important for our young people to have an outlet to express themselves and to feel like they have a say. We all felt a little bit out of control. And I think for young people, that was probably even more evident because there was adults making decisions for them during that time. A young person wearing a superhero cape. It's just shown me that kids should really be getting more involved into these leadership positions like committees and everything. We can have so much of an impact here and we're just not getting the chance to have it. Why is that and why can't we have an impact? We remunerate the young people in our Youth Advisory Council because their input is so vital to what we're trying to achieve. We value their expertise. Honestly, the feedback that we're getting from them is invaluable three young people's faces. They really tried really hard to get people involved. Like there was the option, I need hearing help, or I need speaking help, or I just need help in general. That was an option on the actual application. Like that was how early they started putting those things in and that was offered to everyone. And then to also be like, oh, but you don't even have to speak or like, oh, you don't even have to show your face. Like it's really inclusive in everything. And anybody of any skill could have joined and they were accepting of everybody. And it's really, really good to see something like that a young person connecting up to resources. The resources have been incredible because I've gotten like booklets on how to start a yak and I wouldn't have had that. But now I could be like, hey Kelly, how'd you do it? But it also just generally gave me more confidence to make these kind of groups. Like I wouldn't have had the confidence or even the knowledge and experience to do that, but it has given me those things. So now I can do it. Two young people asking questions. If you're considering being a part of a Youth Advisory Council, get in touch with the organisation. Make sure you ask as many questions as are necessary. I know RSV as an organisation are happy to speak with families, to speak with carers, to speak with young people directly about any concerns that they're having. So I think the really clear and open communication between the young people, their families and 
and the organisations, it's really important. A young person crossing a finish line. It was really good to be a part of in general. It's been such a good experience. Like I've made so many friendships out of it and I have so much experience now. Like it, it's given me all of these pathways that I didn't even know about. It's given me all these questions and answers and things that I want to do, like extra committees and things like that. Two young people sharing feedback with messages and notes. I think for Regional Sport Victoria going forward, what's going to be most important is that we take the opportunity in our planning to include the voice of young people. I think they want to be a part of not just the decision making process, but also the implementing of the idea and the project. So I think we need as organisations to be able to offer them a seat at every step of the process, not just at the consultation stage but seeing projects right through to the end. Young people offer their communities broader perspective because communities run by adults only get the perspective of adults and communities with more kid involvement will of course get their perspective as well. Green Flags is part of Yakvik's Learning from COVID-19 series. To see more stories like this visit yakvik.org.au forward slash green dash flags.